DelicateBeats.com. Hey, welcome back, guys. JT here for DelicateBeats.com. You know, one of the coolest features of Logic Pro X is its insanely simple ability to slow down or speed up wave clips. And because it's become so popular lately in EDM and trap records, I want to make sure that you add this to your bag of tricks. So watch this video right now. For the sake of this tutorial, I've put together this funk beat using random Apple loops. <laughs> Oh, so funky. First step to create speed up and slow down phase is to go to your cursor menu here and on the right drop down menu, you're going to change the icon to fade tool. Now in its normal state, the cursor is still the arrow tool, but if you click command down, you'll see that the fade tool icon appears. So let's use this synth track at the top to create our first fades. And uh, you're going to do so by clicking command, obviously, to change the cursor and by dragging the beginning of the clip. Now, as you can see, it creates this white fade. Let's listen to it. By default, Logic will create these volume fades. So the next step is to right click on it and choose speed up instead. Maybe this fade is a bit too long. So what you can do next is by clicking again on command, you can set the length. And if you drag the middle, you can also change the shape of the curve. Let's listen to this instead. Maybe a bit fast. All right, let's do a slow down fade now at the end. So again, command down, let's drag and it creates our slowdown fade. Let's listen to this one instead. All right, maybe a bit long. Let's do one beat. Nice. Now, let's say we wanted to do it on a MIDI clip like this bass line. So command down. Oh, what's going on? It's not working because you cannot do these fades on MIDI clips. So the next step to do it on the baseline would be to select all of the MIDI clips and right click, choose bounce in place. Now I could rename this bad boy, but I'm just going to click OK to speed up the process. And now you have a wave version of your baseline. And now I can apply my fades. All right. So let's delete this guy. One last for the road. If you wanted to create a slowdown effect on your whole beat, and let's say just for the sake of this example, this beat is actually, you know, 40 something tracks, uh, and you don't want to do individual fades on each of the tracks, what you can do is select all of your tracks, bounce in place again, and maybe, you know, I'm going to use the marquee tool to cut my stuff up. Let's say I just want to do it on the very last beat. And I'm going to delete this. Let's delete this track also. And now go back to the fade tool, create a slowdown fade just on this part right here and let's listen to this and this is how you would go about doing it on the whole beat so i hope this tutorial was helpful click the like button if you uh, want to help my channel out maybe subscribe also if you like my logic pro x tutorials and on this day i wish you a very very good production day all right peace out guys